hey guys welcome back to another video i think i want to get a new intro for my channel hey guys it's your girl again pamela back with another video today's video you already know what it is i saw ama ungoro's video and i really liked it nj did the same thing and i did a little backstory on it and i found out that this video idea has been out for like it has been out like three years ago lizzie did it i'm like okay it looks so fun i'm going to do this video so i'm going to be reacting to my old pictures you know drip remains forever so i don't know if i'm really going to be roasting myself because your girl has always been you know the bang so i'm going to start from my baby pictures before moving on my baby pictures seem to be more pink than my adulthood pictures how how can you roast this how can you roast this girl this girl has always been a fashionista fam this girl you can't roast this just just check me out now see my red shoes the hand on the way this girl was made for this life okay she was made for this life i remember my parents i always had a photo shoot session I think every month or something if there's any other person that had photo shoot sessions every month do let me know in the comment section below look at my smile now come on this girl is so fine she's too fine so this is another picture again my hand on my waist still i love love this picture look at my pose see my smile come on baby girl killing it as always i think this was my first birthday picture i've always been I've always had this like facial expression. You can tell people that know me, you can tell that it's not now. Nobody today is that. So I obviously don't know why I gave this facial expression, but I think someone was about to be moving mad. That is why I gave this facial expression. But I love this. So the primary school I went to, Holyfield International School in Surulere, Lagos. We always had like, should I say photo shoot sessions or what? We always updated our school portrait. When they take you general, they take then they take you a personal picture so this was one of my personal pictures i love it who was not afraid of father christmas when they were a kid like come on come on i was going through something here i don't know why nobody saved my life <laughs> but i was going through something here because i was caught on fresh fam i was caught on fresh you know it, it is what it is it is what it is i was still maintaining beauty look at my beautiful purple dress and my hairstyle i think i was nine in this picture the pose forever the same love it i never liked this picture while i was growing up when i brought out this picture and i saw it i was like wow i was not even as bad as i thought i was i think during this time my confidence level in taking pictures started going down oh i think my teeth broke one of my teeth fell so it was coming out and i was ashamed of the teeth that was coming out so i didn't want to smile if you don't know your girl has always been a very competitive person i took first runner up in any social activity i was always you know present i remember here we did this at barrack in Odre legba like i said i was always active in any social activity in school this is me again doing the cultural dance leading again with the microphone it was it was lovely i remember this i remember this day as well oh look at how tiny we were who do i still keep in touch with here i have chinano on facebook i have uche on facebook i have kafi kafi i have kafi on instagram you can obviously tell that this smile was forced i did not like this i don't even think i was in the mood for any picture this picture is my sister's one year birthday i think i was four years in this picture again forever seven face <laughs> this is me you know never to be caught on fresh guys i was going through a midlife crisis okay what is this just what is this i beg see i thought i was the shit you know i was the shit though for those days i thought i was a shit i'm saying those days this was 2014 this was 2014 guys what i did i literally i had a brazilian hair beneath and then i got this because i like colored hair those times i didn't i didn't just want to wear black or brown i felt it was boring so i told them to put like the blonde hair on top of 
the brown hair and when i entered university with this hair after the whole orientation and what they called me to the office the administrative office and they were like oh we don't accept this hair color in the school you have to loosen this hair but yeah this is yeah girl picture was 2013 that's when i started looking into modeling i actually auditioned for mbg in 2013 but i did not pass the first stage so this was one of the pictures i took to submit for the audition i love this picture this picture was 2016 when i graduated this with my sister Oninye. this was one of the pictures i took when i wanted to join a modeling agency they literally called me fat they called me fat because of this picture and i never gave it to them after calling me fat and telling me that I was short i could not even give them this picture because you know that was that was too humiliating for me to even give them my no i was not that desperate so when they asked me if i had any pictures i told them i didn't have any pictures but yeah this was one of my favorite pictures that year Sha. look at my bangs look at my look at now see fresh girl i don't know what i was going through i don't know what i was going through on this day this was the first day of university this was the day we we needed to go for the orientation this was what i wore first of all guys that belt that belt belongs to the streets it belongs to the streets because what the hell look at the pose now gangster gangster shit <sighs> honestly i like this picture i'm not even going to lie like check me out i like this picture the way i tied my head i felt like i was this rich auntie but what i don't understand with the picture is the belt the way the belt is placed i don't know why i wore my belt like this i don't get it but can your rich auntie ever no so don't come for me okay now guys i can explain this picture okay calm down i can explain this picture i and my sister we were trying to if i let me let me put up the second one i'm going to put up the second one on the screen during that period that is when pouting that's when pouting was raining so the guys were mocking guys my friends that came to the house they were mocking how girls pose and all those things so we were like oh we are going to take pictures to show how guys pose that's the only pose they know that was what brought about this picture calm down before you come for me it's it's nothing serious i'm I, come on mm? now looking at it i feel like i shouldn't have even done this in the first place oh my god it's so embarrassing i don't think i should have done this in the first place but whatever it was fun when we were doing it it was fun we were mocking them and even when i posted it to facebook i had a caption backing it up so yeah this was around 2014 i don't know where we are going to just look at my bra strap showing it's not like okay the bra strap can show but it doesn't rhyme with the color of the shirt it's just off it looks tacky this necklace this necklace was my fave back then i don't know i just had a very expressive fashion sense then i still do but i think the combination was not all right sometimes <laughs> it was me in school with my blue hair like i said i did not like making black hair after they told me to take out that hair i took out the hair because you know i'm an obedient child so i took out the hair but this was during like final year and i was like you know i am going to do what i want to do nobody should stress my life so i bought blue attached and i told them to do my hair all blue i did not care and i we went to iita for a practical and one of the administrators came pamela pamela you started again you started again. You then used to hear what? Shabi, we told you that we don't like blue hair. I'm like, you should not disturb me. Nobody should stress me. Let the girl breathe, I beg. It's just blue hair. Don't kill anybody. This picture was my, I think, 19th or 20th birthday party. I don't even know again. Story behind this cake. That's my friend, Toyosi. We are still friends. She's my OG. I remember when I went to book this cake and the lady was like oh you're going to do love emoji you're going to do you know all these girly stuff because back then i was really laid back with my fashion sense i like to wear baggy things i was not really confident with myself at that point at that point in my life 
I just lost confidence in my body so I like wearing baggy things I like to wear black do not like to showcase all those things then especially my butt I was just laid back I like to mix boyish kind of things to my fashion sense then and when she was talking because even when I went there I wore a joggers I wore a shirt I packed my hair up and I wore shades she was like um, okay, which one of them do you, will you choose? I'm going to do a love emoji. I'm like, just do the cool emoji with the glasses. And she's like, she wanted to start arguing with me on top of my own cake. Me that is paying for the cake. She's like, no, 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 no. You're a girl. Girls don't do that. And I gave her the stare like, what? On top of my own money. I'm like, no, that's the cake I want. And she's like, ah, I've not seen a girl like you before. Uh -uh. All the girls that come here, they don't behave like this. I've not seen a girl like... And I just kept staring at her with my shades on i'm like i don't understand is it by force for me to do what every girl comes to order for from you this is what i want she reluctantly agreed to do the cake that i chose anyways i paid her i got my cake i actually think i look nice in this picture see i think i really really look nice in this picture this is my friend tado we are still friends till now you know what i have no complaints about this picture this was my look for my birthday i think the only thing again colored hair see my hair guys see my hair this hair itched me i think it was fake it itched my scalp so bad and yes like i told you i was going for the whole black vibes and everything my lipstick was black black outfit so this other picture i'm going to put it up on the screen oh, i and my mom i think we went for an occasion or something look at your girl now check me out uh -uh drip from head to toe mm? the drip is forever the drip is forever tell me the picture that you like the most in the comment section tell me the one that stood out to you if there's anyone you want to roast to let me know in the comment section below if you like this video also let me know in this comment section below share my videos like comment subscribe if there are any other video ideas you'd want me to shoot let me know in the comment section below it's time for me to go to bed bye